closing order. Um, public comments. We have a student here. I don't know if that, if, would you like to say who you are and uh, what brings you here? Introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm Sarah Cape. Uh, I'm a junior at Amity Regional High School and I'm teaching a critical issues class and one of our assignments is to attend a town meeting. So. Ah, well welcome. Nice. Welcome. All right. <laughs> That's cool. That's great. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, no other public comments. Minutes. Let's go over the minutes. I should a correction on them. That was my mistake. Um, under the commission dates, I wrote 2024 commission dates. You guys said the motion, right? I just wrote it wrong. Oh. Should be 2025. Yes, that's a good point. <laughs> you may have. I, I think I have. Thank you. Although I will be. The, I think the oh no, I actually got everything. But you're missing some, some of the packet. That's okay. Thank you. Um, okay, great. Thank you yeah. for commenting. That was my, my mistake. This is half, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I guess, do we have, do we have a motion to approve the minutes? So first we approve the minutes. Yes. Jane, and do we have a second? Julie, and then we go open to discussion. So any discussion? I noticed a couple of minor typos. Um, page one under uh, number 10, the road race. The shirt is a dark tan, I think, not Dan. I think it's a Dan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and um, Kathy, the shirt was great. Very the nice. The, the um, pumpkin was fabulous. Good. Yeah. Well, um, and then for outdoor facilities, I just, um, the second line will be, will be, is it coordinating chalk art program? I wasn't sure. Yeah. Okay. And um, in number three, tennis courts, John mentioned probably it's that, that all the courts were washed yep. rather than that. And then one other, I was being very like eagle eyed today. Um, pickleball, pickleball takes place at the, is it the top courts? Yes. Yeah, top Great courts point. as opposed to tops courts. Uh, the second line in the section about tennis courts? Yep. Yeah. It was, you know, minor stuff. Otherwise, it looks great. Any other comments? Um, do we, uh, I guess all in favor of passing the minutes for those who are here. Diane, you weren't here last time, right? Uh, Sorry, next year. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All in favor of passing the minutes. Aye. All right. Perfect. Um, chairman's report. Just thank you all for what you continue to do. I'm looking forward to hearing about new exciting things happening. Um, and I also wanted to just report that. I know I mentioned before, I'm on the Community and Cultural Center um, Committee. Um, we had a meeting last week, and we are getting closer to having the old firehouse as a community and cultural center. Um, they, there, was, there were bids that were made to do the construction. Um, we are going to present that, or actually the architect is going to present that to the Board of Selectmen meeting on November 13th and we don't foresee an issue. Um, and if all goes well, we'll go to contract and break ground for construction beginning of March, and then um, it would, uh, the project, the construction for this part of the project should be complete by June, or sometime in June. Is the fitness center still part of? That's still part of it. Okay. That's still part of it. So that's good. We haven't, and we haven't, um, in the most recent um, discussion, we didn't talk about the, it was more about the construction mm -hmm. issues, but the last we were discussing, the fitness center is still part of it. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's a considerable amount of rec space in the plan that we have. So that's exciting for us. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll talk about. When is truck or treat? Is it on the 31st? Thursday. Thursday. It is Thursday. It's, um, it's supposed to be amazing weather. Yeah. Um, right? It'll be like summertime. My baby. 
Some, yeah, um, which is, I guess, concerning climate stuff, but it'll be nice and warm for those who um, are out there. Does, is any help needed by the rec commissioners for that? Do you know? No, I'll be there. I'll be sitting at our truck. I'll okay. be there. I'll come find you. Thing from getting there. Um, Kathy won't be at home because we have little grandkids now. Nice. <laughs> All nice. over the place. Okay. So, it's yeah, always we're, we're pretty well fun so If you want to come by and just come by and just visit, just come, come by. Yeah. But uh, it's a real Do we have to wear costume? You can. Definitely. John, take yours off. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And also, I just, I wanted to comment, um, well, I guess we'll talk, well, it's separate from the road race. I know, John, I understand you did a lot of work um, with the Woodbridge Like Me. Yeah. Um, which I didn't realize how much you were involved, but you were mm. very involved, mm. and it was a very nice event. And I want to commend you on everything you did. Thank you. And I probably don't know the half of it, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was good. It was a nice event. It was a nice event. Yeah, Another well beautiful exactly. day. Yeah. The road race was that day. A beautiful it day. It was a gorgeous day. Right? Yeah. So and and we'll good talk. turnout. Great. Yeah, very good for both events. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was hot. Got hot. It did, yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll hear about the road race. You did a really good job of placing where you did the tables because yeah, um, we put good. all the little kids towards the center, which was really smart. No one was near the road mm -hmm. because that could have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a process. Yeah, so that was really a smart idea putting everyone so, towards yeah. the front where there would be little kids' activities. Yeah. I appreciated it. Yeah. And sure. I had little kids there. Sure, so. sure. They want to keep the, the kids safe, yeah. definitely. So thank you really for everything you do. Um, make sure you add that to the minutes. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. Um, I don't know if there's any, I don't really have anything else. I don't know if our vice chair has anything. Okay. Um, um, liaison reports? Nothing. So we move to the pool is continues to be on the agenda. I'm wondering if in the future until I would drop it only because um, I'm thinking it's on the back burner. And yeah. I, and I haven't seen very much come off the back burner. Right. Mm. I, I agree. I think that should there be news, then we can add it to the agenda. Yeah. Um, also, Julie, I'm wondering, would you like to continue to have the vice chair report on here? I um, would feel like I have anything to report unless you are if I'm absent. absent. So maybe it's like chair report or vice chair report if yeah. not Absolutely. present. Yeah. yeah. And of course unless know, that label is, you know, official and, and I don't, necessary, but I don't Yeah, I don't know if it I don't think it has to be on Yeah. So streamlining a little bit. Um, personnel. There is something in here about personnel, right? Yep. There's one person. Jason Lane. So Jason has successfully passed background checks, um, position of sports leader. Um, do we have a motion to approve Jason Lin as a yes. sports leader? Do we have a second? All right, Diane. Um, any further discussion? I'd just like to say that as a commission, that is one of the best things that this commission has done is to vet, vet every, a lot of the open Vet, yeah, vet. Vet everybody because it's so important because, you know, in what happened in another town, in another thing that happened. But yeah. we vet everybody from beginning to end so we know before anything happens what we are. And that, that was you guys decided on that. And I want to thank you. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. And, you know, you do the thorough check and that's critical, right? Um, all in favor of passing this motion? All right, <coughs> wonderful. Um, the road race. Yes. Let's hear from um, you. Everybody has my report, right? Yes. Okay. And you do um, such a fabulous job. Oh, thank you. You work so hard. Um, okay, so early on, usually the whole year before, we hire Tom Jacobs every year for our race. So we already know when the date is going to be for next year. <clears throat> October 4th it will be 2025, which of course is a Saturday. So um, the registration is done. Um, usually, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I was reading this wrong. Registration is, was done the same way as last year. 
we had the bibs um, in the front of the racers. We were, we, at the day of the race, we took no cash, no checks, no nothing. Everything was done online before the race and the day of the race. So it really made everything sign in and everything else so, run so much smoother. Um, is anyone, so, does anyone show up with cash and, and have difficulty? Or is the it first year, of course he did, but he went to a friend who had a phone, went yeah. on the phone, and he registered just like that. I, I think we had one person, just one this year, yeah. that said, oh my god, you're doing it the new way. And I said, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I guess you didn't come last year. So. Okay. So um, but the first of June, usually I sent out a letter to all past sponsors mm -hmm. and all the businesses in Woodbridge. And once um, we receive all our sponsors, we usually get, give them up to a certain time, a certain date. And then we make the fryers and uh, the brochures, and we up the sponsor fee every one fifty dollars this year. Because we haven't done it for the last two or three years, so we upped it fifty dollars. So we made the flyers and brochures once we had all our sponsors, with the date, time, and the place of the race. We also included the barcodes on the bottom of all the brochures yeah. and everything um, for them to register online. Great. So we just put our QR code on the bottom. And I think, Julie, you, you suggested that, I think, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and our two main sponsors again this year were Amity Physical Therapy and Surf Pro, who want to do it faithfully every year, which is nice. Um, they do the concerts and they do the road race. So they co-sponsor that. Um, we also had um, a large banner. Actually, we had two large banners. We put one on the field and one right underneath the, um, what was it? The gazebo? There, there In front of the old church. There was a sign about the other program being run on the green, um, so we put it underneath. We also had some large posters at the corners in Woodbridge, 114 Amity Road. And um, the t-shirt was designed by me, again. Yes. Um, I, I like the colors. I like the tan, didn't you? Yeah, the tan, really nice. yeah. And um, Very autumn-y. And all uh, sponsors received a letter, actually I'm working on them right now, of thanks mm -hmm. for to all the sponsors. You see the letter that was sent out on the second sheet? That was the letter we sent out to all the sponsors, past sponsors and business owners. And then the next sheet is all of our sponsors. And then I did a total amount of um, the main sponsors and all the platinum, gold, silver, bronze sponsors, which came to seven thousand nine hundred and fifty. Uh, and for two thousand twenty-three, I put down the revenue, the expenses, and the income. And for this year. The revenue, the expenses, and the income. As you see, we made um, about $2,200 more this year. Very nice. um, we had two in-kind services, um, two staff, and the vehicle for um, from AMR. Mm -hmm. So that totals about roughly about $1,500. And then we had gift sponsors. Joyce Printing had. Um, pads made to put in the bags for the runners, and Woodbridge Runner uh, had the gift cards for all of the um, first place um, runners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, that came up to about $500, plus we donated some water for the runners Great. after they ran. So we had 108 runners, and we had the 5K, and 22 for the fun run. I don't know if there was something else going on for the student, the younger kids, or if there was something at the junior high. I wasn't sure because it seems like we <coughs> sometimes get a little bit more kids for the fun run. Yeah. But last year I know we got less. 
right? The weather well, it was, was cold. Summer, yeah. Yeah. It was cold and super rainy last year. Do you remember how many we had last year for the, the road race and for the fun run? Um, I know the fun run was like 15, but it was really bad weather. Yeah, yeah it was so super cold. The 5K yeah. was like 80 or 90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this year. Yeah. Do they still do the running club in the grammar school? Because that was always yeah. the yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. point there, and we're also talking yeah. to... Um, is it Laraway, Mr. Laraway? Laraway. 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 Talking to one of them take over Sandy Simowitz. That's what Sandy Simowitz Sandy 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 did for us. Because she was in the school. She got the kids involved. She talked up the running club and everything mm -hmm. like that. And the numbers grow. So we need we need somebody inside the school. So we're, one of them is going to help us. I know Mr. Teddy said yes. Oh, that's good. But, um, that's good. Well, they all see. got shirts. So hopefully they won <laughs> that game before. Uh, yeah. That's good. I think that was also the same weekend for pounding the pavement thing. Yes. I think there yeah. was, was uh, that in yeah. Derby yeah. or Seymour? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Seymour. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think you're right. Was it the so, same day? That's another thing I want to mention. A lot of the runners from the Pink and Seymour came here right after because their race was super early. It's super, super oh, early. early. And some women ran that race, came back to Woodbridge, and ran our race. Oh, amazing. Wow. Amazing. I, I could not believe it. They were all dressed in their pink. That's amazing. That's yeah. great. Then you'll see the next sheet is my expenses you, you mentioned Beecher, for everything. Uh, that you spoke to Lava Bay and Mr. Taddy. Mm -hmm. How about tapping into uh, AMSB at Bethany? Will they start cross-country training for middle school students? Uh, just so that we can get extra publicity out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good idea. Because yeah. a lot of kids are getting into cross country at that. Uh, yeah. Seventh grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The eighth grade for running club don't you only take up to sixth grade for them, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Six, 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 but six it's it's all okay. it's before school, and then you. I don't want to use the. It's at the cons consensus loop. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I butchered that name. Yeah. yeah. And then um and then they bring the kids to uh, the drop off spot for school in the in the morning. Right. They right. bring them down to yeah. But you meant but for pa participating for, 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 yeah. for the middle school. For participating in the race. Yeah. Because yeah. usually right. they oh, yeah. encourage those fun or like the kids from the right. the yeah. club to come yes. to the race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And some of those kids end up running the um, 5K yes. as well. Yeah. 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 But There's that's a good kids, idea. The middle of school. Kids run the I think the high school is an issue, right? The high schoolers can't run in the race. If there's something that they're participating in that sports season in that sport. Yeah. Sure. So the cross country. Because it has great they're moving in the running club. That's always been a, yeah. an awesome. All right. So if you see this um, this form that I have all the expenses, um, and the only thing that might change is on the bottom the six zero three ninety um, United Services. Um, we haven't really gotten the invoice from them yet, but it's going to be lower if anything. No. So, yeah. So now we're not sure exactly how much it's going to be, but we, like John said, it'll be lower than yeah, we're, probably. we're on state pricing for them. That's yeah. their regular. So our balance right now, as we stand, is eight thousand one hundred seventy-seven oh five. It's a balance in an account specifically for, for the road race. So for road the road, road race. race and to help recreational programs if we need anything, you know, like that, equipment or anything like that. Right, because I saw on the agenda the donation is coming up, and so I just want to understand yeah. if that budget right. is used for anything else. No, no, it's just for the road, just for uh, uh, assistance, assistance, and yeah. for the recreation department if we need and anything. Services. You know, sometimes. Then the next sheet, it, this here is like what the flyer looked like with the QR codes on the bottom. They were enlarged and placed on the corners, um, and the last sheet is the letter I just um, made up today um, for the sponsors. You know, I'd, I'd like to send them a nice thank you note. Mm -hmm. So, and then you'll see um, this sheet is the road race donations nice. that we have contributed to the Human Service Department um, since 2006. Every year you see uh, the amounts. That's great to see. So, since I made lots of money, and we gave them 3000 last year, you know how I feel about human services. Yes. Before I worked at Beecher, I used to work at human services. So I feel very, 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 you know. Committed? Yeah, I just, I just feel like strongly. my heart is just right there. Very strong. So um, 
Can you tell? I would like yeah, to. Sorry. I would like to, if we can, donate four. That would only be um, not even half of what we have as a balance. And actually, I have a I'm wondering if maybe because people might may or may not be familiar with the residence assistance. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Fun. Thank worded you. differently. Um, can you talk a little bit about what they do? Yes, they have a food bank, the human services, and a lot of people in town could be the elderly or people less fortunate. Um, you know, go to the human service department, when, especially in the winter time, mm -hmm. when they need some fuel assistance. Um, we have got, you know, we have gotten a lot of people that needed help with that. Um, so that's, this is what they do for people. And then they do the baskets for all the holidays. Mm -hmm. So I know those are the two things that I know that mm -hmm. they do. I mean, since I've worked there, maybe they even added some more things. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I just thought it was good for everyone to understand what this contribution is. All right, so you're you're recommending four thousand dollar contribution. I would love to see four thousand go to human nice. service. <laughs> so do we have a motion? Well, first we'll discuss the motion uh, to approve, and then we can have some discussion. I approve. You have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Diane. All right. Open to discussion. I have a question about how much money we need to keep in the account because I'm wondering. We've done four thousand before, and I was wondering if maybe we might consider donating more money. So I don't know Ooh, how much you. how <laughs> much <laughs> money we need to maintain in this account <laughs> for like helping to fund the road. You know, any expenses for the road race for next year in advance, or anything else that you want to do and. Um, the rec commission might need to fund. So I think we. I'm, I'm okay with the four thousand, but I'm wondering if we might do. More. And, and is it also for Couple other thousand. equipment? It's possible? for equipment. It's for mm -hmm. recreational programs and everything in, in there, just in case. We've used it once when a, one of our pieces of equipment, the fitness center, broke, and we had no money to replace it. So we got it from there and we replaced it like that. I um, mean, I think we're very conservative on using it like this. Um, I just get worried sometimes that you know, it depends. Like one year. You know, we made $500 in 2020 because of COVID, mm -hmm. like this, and that could, that could be, that's hard, you know, to come in with something like that. So, yes, I believe you know, that and they should have more money, but I think we should have, a, 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 I believe, at least $4,000 in there to protect us from anything that we don't have. Because the last budget, they cut us pretty hard, and then they cut us 3000 at the end, which I just thought was crazy. But we had reserves. And so we, we got through. That's totally we, fair. Point. The other factor, you know, you know, presumably, um, Rec will be moving to a new space during the course of this year. I don't want to leave the dungeon. <laughs> going. So are there are there any are there is there any equipment needs you foresee that we need to just sort of think about? Um, I don't know. It no, I think we're pretty well set moving the okay. fitness center over there. We have the equipment. Um, okay. I was going to talk later, but Tony came today, uh, called John, and told him they have some money. What what kind of funds? ARPA funds. ARPA funds, and they're oh, going to buy so us maybe a we should talk we're, about we're, we're going to get a recumbent bike. A brand oh, new fantastic. one. Oh, yeah, fantastic. They're going to pay for it. The only thing, and I mean, I'm a nobody now, but the only thing I'm saying is that from what I've, in my 20 years of experience of recreation, plus is with recreation having the limited space that they do have and the limited resources of space there sometimes needs to be some creative thinking outside the box and what if you needed some kind of way to be able to do that say in the summertime or something like that I'm just saying tent I'm just you want to be able to have those funds available yes. to yourself mm -hmm. it's um, and listen four thousand dollars is nothing not to write home about that's that's a large a large amount of money yeah. in itself you know no. But, but with that four thousand dollars that we're donating, I'm just adding it up. We're over over fifty thousand dollars that we've given wow. since uh, two thousand and eight. That's a lot. As a small and department. I think, and I think last year where we and we only have one resource to get the money. I think last year at this time, once we donated, I think we had about a little over three thousand in the account. Mm. And now we last have, year. Right now we have eight, eighty one. So we get to the four away. Get invested? Do they just sit? How? What happens to those funds over the course? They of the they year? stay in an account with the town, and they're not invested or anything. They just stay in our account and they're touched. 
they get carried over from year to year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's the cow carries over from year to year. Or they can do like my daughter did, and they all got robbed from the bank, and they, on their bank, bank books they were like this. But they caught the person. He was a tremendous investor. The money doubled. <laughs> so now I've got to figure that's out how to that, That's a, a, an unlikely scenario. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got on the table 4,000. You're suggesting? No, I, I'm, the discussion helped. Yeah, the discussion helped. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, wonderful. Um, any other discussion about this? I don't know if it's the right time, but it's not necessarily about the donation, but it's more about the program in general. Like, because I, I think about there's so many families in town. Or sorry, the top stop me if this I have to wait. <laughs> there's so many families in town, but why why not maybe open it up to like a fun walk? Or <laughs> because like I'm, I'm just thinking like it's such a great event, but there's a lot of people who maybe don't run, but that maybe can can support and help to have like a bigger like. Well, during the five k, people can walk it. They yeah. don't have to run yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And okay. we do yeah. have we do have oh. trophies for walkers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Next yes. year we're gonna help market the walking. Part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, no, I oh. Okay. Walk this year. All right. Um, it does. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh yeah. You don't have to run. Okay. Um, Is this known as well that you know part of the proceeds could go to the fund? I'm not sure if many people are aware that was, of that. Right. We yeah. talked about that. Are they going to do the about the all? I forget the day, name about me day exactly. next year. I would think at so. the same, same date. Yeah. Oh, it would be nicer again. if if Mrs. Adamovich could have her award ceremony at the start of that event. You know what I mean, and then it kind of like nice. you know what I mean. Remember I when we used to have oh, a Woodbridge Day mm -hmm. when I was a little yeah. kid, and we had all the carnival games yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. But it would be nicer if that started like like a pattern. Yeah, and you could have your awards, and you start the about me day. I feel like, and then it just feeds into the it only thing, with the your. The problem is they started earlier than we ended. Right, right. so they should adjust their time as well. So they adjust it yeah. for next yeah. year. They, yeah. It's a have, great idea. Have you leave your time, have them adjust theirs. But they would have to invite all of us that are involved in this to really talk about it. So. Well, I, we yeah, just, I, I just said it. It's so much. Like like yeah, I mean, it's an interesting idea. I don't. I don't know if that would speak to everyone who's going. There's so yeah, many I mean, events. We can bring it up. I think. I think. Certainly, I guess we are getting away from the vote, um, but I but I think that at the very least, I I would love to see that the trophies are given and that the Woodbridge like me starts after that, so that okay. you know I don't know if that can happen. I don't know if that was a discussion this year. Yeah, um, their committee, their thinking was they didn't want people to go home, <clears throat> like from the road race. They wanted people to go from the road race to right. So one way to have that is that people <coughs> one way to do that is to get the awards in the park. That's why I said have to get the overlap too much with our yeah. Group, you know, to let would us be do. perfect if it did because if she, if Mrs. Adamovich was doing the awards ceremony and Mr. Adamovich, and that's the start of the the event, it's going to have people. <coughs> Go to that, you know, in front of the gazebo into that area, you know, and they're gonna, ha you're gonna have captive audience of people. Yeah, you know? I, I think that's a great idea, but I think John has a point though that people might leave if they have to walk. Yeah, all yeah, the I think the runners are sort of this unit, and they're yeah. like, I'm running, and now I'm gonna go start my day. Um, but we could certainly invite people, Woodbridge like me. Grouped. I don't know. I don't know. I just. I would like to. I would like to see that the awards are given, and then Woodbridge like me starts immediately yeah. following. Well, so I'm a representative from Woodbridge like me. There yeah, the at our awards. Community. When we start our awards, and they could talk they about could Woodbridge. Talk about the, the program, that's a great what idea. Doing, yeah. And that would be the best because I know our people. Lot, I think we, that's a good idea. At least five or six people leave before we even have the. I think uh, that's a good idea because then they can say, "All right, now this is what's yeah. happening." All right. Good but one more question for yes. you. You were saying you were talking about family fun run walk or something. I think that's a good idea. And what I'll do is I'm going to put together something so we we'll go over to a different part of the year. But we'll go over to the Fitzgerald family and make it a family fun walk mm -hmm. like this to raise money for this, those that those of the needy. That was that's a good one. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Yeah, we'd like to do it at a different time. That would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, you know it would be cute if you had like an award for the parents who had the best. Like decorated stroller or something like that. I really oh made it into something. Oh my god! Twins. Who's got twins? I'm just saying. We can have a twin. We can have a twin category too. When, when, I, when I was growing up, actually, we used to have back in my town a 
Mm -hmm. Contest best stroller, best bicycle yeah. decorated. Yeah, yeah. Best, oh, I don't know, like all yeah, sorts of different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see that big. It was around the fourth of race. July that my town did that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so have you had a question that I don't know if we answered? Um, do people about the the fun? Yes. I mean, do the community know that part of these proceeds actually go to that assistance fund? So it's it was in the Woodbridge news. Uh, uh, Mika put it in there and said like this that the uh, recreation department has do donated thousands of dollars to the uh, assistance fund. After the fact, After the he just fact. put it in this one. That it was just on came our out. posters on Facebook. Yeah, it's, it's on, on right. It's on the poster. Yeah. It's on the fly. It's on the brochure. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's on the that day. It's on the website. It's yeah. on everything that we. Yeah. 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 I know. I always wonder how much people. You know, it's it's it is in the past. Address. Yeah, it has been in uh, paper too, a picture yeah. when I mm -hmm. hand the, the check over. That little two Sorry. pager that we get in the mail. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Will you take a picture and send it? Maybe that's what I'm saying. Yeah. To do that. Mm -hmm. That could be done. Yeah. We'll put it yeah. In they love, you know, everything is pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good idea. The other thing is, um, I, there was talk about starting this throughout the year, right? That people can contribute even if they're not running. Mm -hmm. That that can be something that happens. And did you ended up putting you, that? Yeah, on the and site? we got someone to you did. to do a donation. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. How much did you actually get on a donation for that? It was like fifty dollars. Okay, but it's a starting yeah. point. Yeah. So that's yeah. great. Yeah. More than yeah. This so is that, way before the road race. Someone just donated. Yeah. That's great. So that's oh, by the way, that's an I ongoing. Have that's going to be ongoing. Out. Yeah, it's Good. it's up all year round. Remember, you yeah. told me yeah, to put yeah, up yeah. the signs about the community thing. With the key. And you know, if you didn't want to run but you wanted to donate mm -hmm. I had signs all over yeah, so good. yeah I don't know if we got any donations but at least people are aware yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and I guess that's a, a blurb that could be put out or something that um, even if you miss the run you can still contribute to you know the resident assistance fund mm -hmm. to help support our community mm -hmm. you know yeah. that, that could be something to you know when you're doing PR. we have a great person that puts all the stuff on, on flyers on, on yeah, someone I'm sitting next to. And uh, <laughs> she'll put something out there. Like just give an example. The other, the other thing about that is I wonder if we know how much, how many families a $4,000 donation supports. You know, does it mm. give, you know, 100 families fuel assistance? Does it allow them to have groceries through the winter or, I don't know, some, some sort of metric that yeah. is tangible for people mm -hmm. instead of just the $4,000 so that people know, oh, that really had an impact on real people. That's a good point. That's a great idea. It, it makes it more real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just like this money. Not just a number. Yeah, is there a way to find out? I wonder. Yeah, we can ask. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, sure that you yeah, 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 check with Jeanette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do they know how much? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what it what that means in actual. It's more impactful than it. Nice. All right. One so, last question. Oh, I, I know this year we had the Woodbridge Like Me and the Road Race on the same day. Uh, is there any value in considering two different days? Because it's a long period of time for someone to attend both the events. Uh, is that a concern? I agree. Or do we want to try having I it agree on two too, different days? That was We'd have to talk to them because they're the ones that, that kind of wants to put it together and make a dual thing out of it. Or we're not in the same space. If we finished our road race mm -hmm. at there, everybody would be right in the same spot. But we, uh, we have a measured a, a measured mile. They can use this uh, three mile, three point one minute. Race. I'm sure kids get tired after the fucking run. Yeah. We're doing the five k. They might not pivot to the second the second one. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe the thought was that there's this Woodbridge Day, mm -hmm. so this was a way to kind of do that. I, um, was it on a different day at some point? I can't remember. Woodbridge it hasn't been going day, on I feel like it's newer. Yeah, it's yeah. Newer. I think it one is. year it was, but then they wanted to do like a Woodbridge Right, there was day. a sort of a benefit of maybe yeah. it is useful to have everything on the same yeah. day that yeah. people, that this is kind of our mm -hmm. day. Is there a meeting post the Woodbridge Like Me? Um, yeah, it's a DEI committee. They, they meet, I think. I think they meet once a month, so I'm sure they'll discuss it. Yeah. Well, do you, are you involved in that? Will you be? I do not attend their meetings, but I mean, I could, I could attend the meeting. Well, now that they got you hooked in, they're gonna, it's going to happen year after year, John. So it's, that's it. Sort of like a debriefing. Like, this is kind of a debriefing, which is like what needs to, to be tweaked. What, what did work. 
Yeah. Also, okay. how challenging was it for you to have both events mm -hmm. on the same day? If yeah, you have to work both events. It was a lot, yeah. Yeah. And then you can go out two Saturdays in a row. <laughs> He still came over and helped Christopher, who was dying from heat exhaustion because heat stroke. His mommy put on a sweatshirt on. I was like, John, do you have a t-shirt? And he like ran over and bought my son a t-shirt. And he like, he's when, like, when there was Woodbridge Day, was the road race in the morning of Woodbridge? Oh, separate days. Separate, separate, separate days. The recreation ran both. We ran Woodbridge Day. We ran Woodbridge Day for years. Mm -hmm. And then the town decided they were going to take over and run, run Woodbridge Day and it could be. We, we right. had it was a mom and pop shop thing. We we put uh, posts up and then we put string up. I just we we made sections. You know, fish for little kids. All the kids have a carnival good time. games. Carnival, carnival games. games. Little mm -hmm. carnival There's games. A like different this. But they went yeah, to a different way like, like this. And then they went to the carnival. Uh, have a right. carnival as a woodbridge thing like this. And when that all fell through, you know, we. I look at things like if it's not broke, don't fix it. They did, but they didn't carry through. We carried through for years, and you know. I think that's the way it should go. It should go two separate days or two separate events, you know, because you're not going to get the people from our side going over. And if people come over from their side to talk to us about that like this, they may get a couple or a few, but it's tiring and they want to go. Yeah, I mean, I, I, maybe there are pros and cons to, yeah. to both yeah. ways. Um, it might be worth talking to them and seeing yeah. 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 what their thoughts are as well. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a debriefing yeah. meeting. It's a public meeting, so. Yeah. John and I might just show up. Mm -hmm. uh, are there meetings? Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Show up. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> so, do we have a motion? We, we, I think we discussed the fourth out. Let's Call go back to you. You made Call a motion and, and you seconded, seconded. it. And you seconded it. You're just, you were at this you the, yeah. discussion. And we had a lot of discussion. Yeah. For 4,000, right? For four thousand. Okay. You're all at all. Uh, what are we saying? Well, all those all in favor. All those in favor, please say aye. Okay. Awesome. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy now. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Um, it would, it, you know, it would be interesting to see. You know, it's sort of digging up. I don't know how accessible it is, but. You know how much uh, what the the earnings were over the past years, or you might not want to go back to 2006, but you know over the last couple of years, you know some it's useful to sort of see. Well, what do we have at least last year yeah, versus that. this yeah. year? That might be nice to have for the future, but a lot of work. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Um, is there anything you would have done differently, Kathy? Is there anything where it was pretty smooth, right? Yeah, I, I just love the sign-in now with the online. Yeah. It's just, it's it's just amazing. And, you know, Mr. Jacob said, you know, just, just give it a chance. Last year we did it first year, and we were very nervous. And he goes, yeah. just give it a chance. And you tell me after the race what you think. It was so much easier. Yeah, that's great. Not having to deal with money. Right. And so much safer it's for the just, town that we don't was, touch the it money. It was just so much more organized. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Director's report. John, take it okay. away. Health and Wellness Center, Fitness Center is, is going good. Uh, we talked before about Tony has the extra money in, in the account that they're going to help us and buy us what we need. We were looking into buying a recovered bike. So now we can get the recovery bike, right. and it doesn't hurt our budget. And, uh, Outdoor facilities. Well, wait, how many? Um, mm -hmm. How many? It's probably in here. How many people do we have who are members of the? Fifty something. Yeah, it's. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's in here. It's in here. Oh. Fifty-one and four, fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. Cool. That's going well. Okay. And the outdoor outdoor facilities are in excellent condition everywhere. Um, we're going to be working with Adam. He's going to be working on the cracks that are in all the courts. He's going to be working on that and to get that for next next semester. Yeah, <laughs> next year <laughs> for for that one like that like this. Uh, the tennis courts. The tennis courts are doing fine. Everything's all all set up. We have a defibrillator there. We we have everything we need to protect. Uh, players that are there, and it's on the elderly court, so it's in a spot where it could be most utilized, and it has signs of what to do and how to do it. We tried to get the, uh, there's a phone in 
center field at the softball park. It's, uh, they don't want to pay for a new line. You'd have to buy a new line to put that in because the phone was there, was disconnected or whatever. Um, so we researched it and uh, I left it up to the town, but they just, you know, go with what we have. Call 911. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a phone. Somebody does. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going with that. Any word on the, um, what happened with the spider web at Peace Park? Right? There's going to be some follow-up. I, I, yeah, I was trying to follow up, but I haven't got anybody, you know, that I, who do I, who owned it? Who put it in? It was put in by the, the um, commission that was, that was put together. Oh, the to, committee to, to, to do Peace Park. The committee Park. to do Peace Park. Mm -hmm. So I've got contact, I'll contact the president of that because I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'll have to go to the park and look and see who, who it was and see what the story is because there's no, no movement on that. Unless we do it, take care of it, it won't happen. It'll just sit there. Mm -hmm. And it's a piece of equipment that, uh, you know, yeah, and the kid was just, you know, and any other time somebody would climb up and just take his leg out. He was fine. There was nothing but they made a big thing with the fire department and everybody coming. And, mm -hmm. But yeah, it'd be nice for two. It'd be nice to be put back up. Also, um, under the um, tennis courts, John and I ordered, we went online and we ordered a uh, stencil for making pickleball courts. So that we could do it if it's something then it's reusable like this. So we're going to go over, we get the stencil in. John and I are going to go over to a ledgy property. It's a basketball court, but we could put two pickleball courts up there. And then we could have a pickleball program for for recreation. That could be, you know, people can use it all they want, but um, we would be able to run a, a pickleball program for kids. That's cool. I mean, and it comes with tape too, John. Yeah, the tape. The tape. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Informally, I've heard like, do we can we have more pickleball courts? Can we have more? Oh, yeah. Are there markings on the tennis courts? Are there pickleball markings on the tennis courts? No. Nah. Or no, for that you can't do. No. That, that would mess. What do you, I don't Are there, I don't she pickleball. wants two sets. Of, so she wants two sets of lines: one for tennis and, and one, one for pickleball. pickleball. And that would Someone be extremely. Well, that's on that. court four. That's court, oh, okay. court three or four. Three or four have those. Three okay. or four have them on there. It's, but one and two is tennis only. It's tennis only. So you I can't see. take away tennis from the people. Yeah. They're, they're, they're there all the time. Yeah. They're okay. There all the time playing tennis. People are always asking more pickleball. Somebody. Some people come and wear real nice outfits. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Um, but that's great yeah. that you can do that. We're going we're to try that. And, and the reason why John and I are going to do it like this and put it down is, uh, it's not expensive, but that court has to be re refinished and resealed. So let's do it on the court, and then when we're going to reseal it, because it's, it's a big crack. And on that court, I can put down, the, you take a cement filler, and you fill the crack. The reason why you don't do it on a regular tennis court, the ones that we use like this, is that it would not bond, it's not going to bond like this, and you lose the, um, the lab, we're not, the court that we put down, not liable, we're not liable. Like yeah, so there's no we, liability to Woodbridge Rec or the right. town. So we have to, we have to be careful. Yes. But on this other court, it's just, a, it's, just a, it's a basketball court, we just fill it up and uh, anybody can use it at any time. Pickleball to your heart's desire. Yeah. <laughs> The people what they want. More pickleball. More pickleball. Can adults use it too or just kids? Anybody can use it. Yeah. I said we're just going to run a program there. We'll just yeah, we'll run a great. program there and we'll, and we'll bust the kids over from Beecher uh, after school to there and then parents can pick them up pick them up there and we'll see if we can run a program. Excellent. Get started, get started young. That's cool. Um, other programs, our uh, horse program is running running tremendous. It's tremendous. It filled up in seconds. You know, uh, uh, John went out, left on a Friday, came back on a Monday, and holy crap. Everybody, was it somebody signed up two o'clock in the morning? Yeah, all people were signing up two o'clock in the morning. Really? It was filled in like, wow, like he said, Friday to Monday, it was done. It was filled. Yeah, wow. like that. Yeah. Um, so we have the horseback riding. We're going to have the pick, pick a ball for kids that were coming up new. Uh, Kathy's running a um, ice skating on, on November 5th on voting day, like that. And we have 24. 24. We, we okay. had like 15 or 16 we were worried about because we have to pay for it like this, no matter what, like this. So we had Teresa go on back online and she changed it to seven, add seventh and eighth graders. Now we have 24. We're, it's, it's covered. Siblings. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's covered. It's so another thing that I did was I called the high school this time instead of having all our staff work. Mm -hmm. um, I asked if we had some students at Amity that are hockey players. Ooh, so what good. they did was they opened um, the email, whatever email I sent to them, they sent it, they CC'd it to both coaches, 
and I got three girls that play hockey oh, that's awesome. that are going to go on the trip and are volunteering. Oh, that's great. So they came to the office and they signed their waiver. They're going to be background checked. Um, so I, it's my first time ever doing this. So and they were very willing to volunteer. Excellent. That's awesome. Do we need to so, vote on that at all, or no? I'm sorry. Do we well, need to vote on no. something like that? That's They're a program. It's, it's, a, program. It's, a, it's a recreational program. program that we're so and this is our first trip with the kids. So <laughs> I'm excited about it. That's that it's a go because yes, I wasn't doing too well with <laughs> yes big trips going to plays and stuff. So okay. for the adults, but um. I, yeah. I, I actually see a, a well filled for this program, and so then I'm looking at a program to go to the Bronx Zoo. Mm -hmm. I'm also looking to go to Sunset, Connecticut, uh, skiing. Oh, ski, Sunset, ski, nice. ski, ski, ski down. Yeah, ski. Yeah, and we're doing it on vacation days when kids are off and things like that. So Sundown. 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 I know there's a day off in March yeah. that the teachers have workshop, mm. so kids don't have school. So. Maybe I could That'd have a trip great. that day. I do think you do March. stuff on the early release days, like little mini trips? Or is that mm. too short? Mm, that's too short. That's a, it's a tough one with this. With this yeah, because when you run a trip. are in school and they'd have to. Just a question. Yeah, yeah because but, if you um, run a trip, you want to leave early. Yeah. But looking at the Bronx Zoo, uh, it's like $35 a kid to get in, but on Wednesdays it's free. Mm. You call on a Monday and you set up, your, you have to get a time, you set it up like this, and you tell them what it is, and, and you, you get to go. Only so many get to go in, so you call right away. And they said the, the best times to go is when it's cool. So I thought maybe May, before it starts getting uh, cold so we'll hot out. So have to see if there's a day um, off. Go, go, go there. Yeah, there isn't. There's only the one at the end of the month. I go over today. I know March we have no days. So that basically that's it. And our financial report is um, is in here. Uh, just remember that you know. Oh, I have another thought about programs. What about? Um, the Schubert Theater, matinees for kids at Schubert, like the Nutcracker, oh, yeah, that's or right. that's right. that's a good um, there yeah. are various kid, kid yeah. you know, or family friendly sorts of events. Yeah. yeah, we're looking for anything. If anybody comes up with any ideas, mm -hmm. let us know. I want to run at least three a year, at least three kid trips a year, and then if we can do more, I like mm -hmm. the one every couple months. Yeah, and do that. So whatever. And I'm whatever. and I'm thinking about. I, I'm really big with, um, you know. Uh, like when I even did the concerts, yes, I would have like a um, what do they call it? When you have people sign or what they would like to see come, what kind of survey? Yes, yeah. survey. survey. I couldn't think of that. I like survey. So I'm gonna have a survey for the survey. kids when they get on the bus. Nice. And I'm gonna yeah, ask them nice to fill it out and ask them what they would like to see trips, you know, going. You used places. to do one of those little movie trips, the movie theater. Movie theaters are hard to. Yeah. Yeah, I don't but even like, know. I have a bit too many tickets. tickets. Yeah. If you get the tickets maybe, for the nutcracker, you, know, you have to sell them. I know sometimes at the Schubert, there are discounted tickets. I don't know if there's a student rate that you yeah. can get. do that pretty reasonably. It's just you know, a thought. The, the, the towns are funny. They, we lost all those tickets to um, the park. Radio City. Radio, or not Radio City. We lost it for the kids. Okay. Uh, in the summertime, in summer camp, we had to buy oh. so many tickets. The like this. Oh, six, oh. No, six, six flags six for six miles. flags. We had the tickets left over, so I was going to go down and go down there and hawk the tickets and you know get, get them out and, and get rid of. I I do it for the town to get the money back like this. The town took over the tickets, kind of like this, and um, I think they're in. We have a pail in here. I think that's where oh they my went. God. I think that's where they went. We didn't. So we lost out on retrieving what we could. But I understand. You know, it, it, it's all how how it looks, but. Was a tough one. Anyways, going okay. on, um, going to finances yes. like this. Uh, we're at forty-one percent. We should be at twenty-five percent. So we're about seventy percent over budget, only because of the summer camp. The summer camp is when we put out the most money for everything. every year. It's like this every year, and then it, as we go along, this seventeen keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. And we get to the end, we're, we're back, we're way back even before uh, July. So she had more set-up costs this year for the summer camp. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of set-up costs. costs on. Right. I thank Amity High School for allowing us to be up beyond their property and to use their use their program and facility like this. But I do have to put this on tape on here that we allow them to use our fields, and we, we were not charging them for our fields. For we actually paint the fields, softball fields, soccer fields for them, and everything like this. They turned around and charged us $6,000 to be there. 
Three thousand, yes, we had to pay for the nurse. That's that's a given. You have to do that. We have to do that. But then three thousand to be there because they don't have the custodians. Somebody like else. We take care. We did all. We have our custodians. We have our kids. So, you know, in retrospect, I I just said, you know, it's community. We work together. When I went over to the, see the superintendent, I tried to talk to the finance director like this, and I. The finance director, the superintendent was nice, but the finance director stonewalled me to my face like this, and so I said, thank you very much for your time, and I would just walked out. So, in retrospect, we, all the materials that it costs us to paint the fields, and that the town puts down the fields, that, that's, they take the labor, but the materials and everything, it's like $500. So it's uh, two times a year like this, so it's $1,000 a year. Their $3,000 or just one time they charge us because we're only there once, but we needed some, some help, and maybe down the road we will, I don't know. But we did this for years, so we're going to do it, and uh, I think that's despair. It's just that they charge us to pay to use their facility and their stuff, and we never charge them for the use of the field, but we should charge for the materials that we have to buy and pay out of, out of uh, our, our Parks Department and Recreation. I think and that's I fair. you started doing that. That we're materials, right? we're, we're, we're doing that do in 2025. That. Okay. So I just wanted to. And you're know. still not charging them for the fields, just out of no, kindness. Just, to, yeah, yeah, just out of fairness, like this. But the fairness to me is, now you pay for your materials that we have to use to do your thing like that, and the town provides the labor. Does the town? Yeah, the town always provides the labor. It's mm -hmm. never you. No. Okay. No, the town provides it. Timmy does a great job. Yeah. Great do you expect next summer? The camp will run at the elementary school at Beecher? I'm, I'm hoping so. Have you started to have a conversation with the superintendent? Or? No, I haven't, I haven't met with the superintendent yet, but we're on good terms with her. She's a nice superintendent. At what and point in the year do you start planning that? Uh, probably about February. Beginning of, uh, January, they didn't January. give you much notice this year. It was kind of just like, oh, by the way, you don't have Beach or poof. Yeah. And then you running around finding a place, you know, it wasn't really fair to you. No, it wasn't. Yeah. But that's all right. We, we, we survived. We did what we had to do to make it work. Do you think it's important thing. Do you think, is there any need to, to meet with them, uh, with the superintendent earlier? Oh, I so will. I'll, I'll make an appointment to sit down with her and, and get her ready right now. Get uh, a commitment. The next, next week or so. Next week or the week after, I'll get that. I'll sit down with her, go over and see what's going on. So what you knows, know. So what she knows anticipate. what we're going to be doing and what we need and what our for the season. Okay. Great. Okay. Just having both programs at Beecher is helpful. Yeah. The program that Beecher runs and the, and the right program. Yeah. 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 All right. yeah. Okay. Policies and procedures. I see there was um, some stuff. Okay. I, I wanted to let you know. I got a got an, was an email, John. We got an email yeah. from from the um, first selectman of Bethany, and she was asking for. Um, things that we do, what do we do, like vetting the kids like that. So yeah. I send her all the policies that we have in place. These policies, I don't know if they have them in place, but these policies we have, we have everything in place. So we send everything, everything to her. But I want to put it in here to show you what we have mm -hmm. and how we're protected. Yes. So, and, our, and our kids, our kids are protected. Plus, also our workers are protected. Right. The staff are protected. And also through the alcohol and drug thing, just just to put it in, just, yeah. to, just in case. So, so the policies are all. All there for us. We're we're ahead of the game on that. Yeah, that's great. And we had discussion about some of this in the past, mm -hmm. right? In yes. The commission meetings. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure it was like there was nothing new here, but this no, is this, this is, is great. This is, but I wanted everybody to have it. That. Yeah, I just wanted everybody to have it to see it, so you know. Yeah. What we have. So I look it over. For people have questions. Can always discuss it next time. Yep. Absolutely. Good. Good. Thank you for including me. Um, any questions right now about policies and procedures? Uh, course, uh, publicity. So I know we have some publicity in here. John, do you have any? Yeah, I think Teresa gave you a report. Ah, Teresa. Yeah. Okay, oh, right. And I Teresa put some flyers in. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we have some in our packet and then the yeah, yeah. Packet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The performance. The uh, performance packet. In color this time. Everyone's staples on the bottom, the wrong direction. Nice. Anyways, um, 
That's okay. I can only be high functioning for so much. I like it on the bottom. It's all right. Um, so performance um, for, and I do a 30 day or 28 day um, snapshot. We can see our most active days, 3rd, 8th, 13th, 7th, 22nd to 26th. A reach 132 uh, for each time, which is up 36%. Um, previous days, 14. So when they mean by the 30 seconds, um, it's the reels or stories that I take those flyers into. So when you, on the top of the Facebook banner, if you click on it, you'll see a little reel or story sometimes you click on. I take those same, well, yes? No, I just had a question about the spikes. Yes. Does it correspond to the dates that you post, or does it correspond to weekend dates? It's weekend dates. And um, it's in particular, it is either a Friday or a Sunday. It's never a Saturday. It's never a Saturday. So I tend to post early um, or late Friday evening or a late Saturday night. So when people, parents open up their phone, if they're at a whatever, we all see them in the event and they scroll through real quick, it's always Sunday mornings or Friday evenings. It's never on Saturdays where we get the most traffic. So um, I schedule the posts so they post in the evening or late Saturday evening so they see it Sunday morning on their notifications. Um, so on average, again, we reach each one 322, which is, is awesome. Um, real reach is uh, up to 1K, which is again the little banner on the top. People like to click on things. Um, our engagement, 168 through each one, again the same through the same dates. Um, I put just so you can see for the views for the three second, which of the banners I put on top are average of 367%. Um, our net follow, so it's funny, we have um, our we have more traffic than we, which is okay, than we do followers, which followers is just when you get a notification just every single time we post, mm -hmm. but we have still a lot of um, active people just looking, but they might not necessarily be a follower. Um, our and you don't, mm -hmm. you, it's hard to tell if these are people who repeatedly are looking or if it's new. So if you go to our, our last, <laughs> I, <laughs> so, <laughs> I jumped the gun here. Go one more. Okay. Okay, so you can see that most of our attendance and um, our audience um, here, I, I don't like to break down the diagram, but these are people who are repeat followers yeah. um, here, so that breaks it down. Um, you can see the group that we are tailoring it towards. It, you can also see the age group we're tailoring it towards. Yep. And again, it is the household that is looking for um, activities for their, their young ones, sure. right? And that's why we target those days. And most of the people, we have a pretty wide community base, Woodbridge number one, but also Milford, um, New Haven, Bethany, Orange, um, Stanford, and Sonia, Seymour, and Hamden. So. Quick question, New Jersey is interesting. Well, yeah, we never, you know, it's, you never know, they, but still, they might want to drive, you know, but still, um, we have a, it looks like it's the community basis that we have is outside of, besides Woodbridge, New Jersey, it's basically anyone who can get to the program with under 30 minutes, if you've noticed, so. So I'll be in Woodbridge, New Jersey this weekend. <laughs> my grandson, was probably my grandson, him. My <laughs> team made the playoffs, and the team they, they got was Woodbridge, New Jersey. That's this cool. high school. But I helped Teresa with this, like this. I picked out the blue color. Oh very my nice. God. Yeah. It's very, very, very distinctive. Yeah. Um, but um, our flyers, you can see in the back, they're, when they're in color, they're beautiful, if we ever want to buy a color printer, but. Well, we, we might be doing um, yeah, Really? Yeah. That's not a wish list for a long time. It stands out. Thank you. But, um, and we asked for a color printer. They, wow. John That's posts them also on the recreation website, so when yeah. you click on each program, you see the flyer there. Um, and yeah, I the basketball ones is pretty sharp, I must say. Yeah. But um, they, yeah, um, I'm starting to work on the other wa winter ones, but it, it grabs a lot of attention, and I tailor them to fit online. So it's not like some posts where you won't see, you only see the middle yes. and not the top. Yes. It's specifically designed the size, so when you it's right here in your phone, you all the effort. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Great. That's it.
That's great. Yeah. I'll just say that John and Teresa are a tremendous asset to this department. Mm -hmm. They are on top of everything that we've gone. Mm -hmm. I've been here for 37 years, and, and the last couple of years has just been fabulous. And getting stuff online out there, people, people are seeing us over there. And we did thank all the sponsors for the road race online, and we also oh, um, and we also thank them before the road race oh, okay. too. Yes. Good. So it's and another good spot to advertise so. the donation and mm -hmm. the yeah. impact. Yes. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, the impact. Yeah, really good. And we uh, did have, uh, we thanked every one of four and also took uh, pictures of the About Me Day of kids doing the activities. They were my children, so it was safe for the children to be in the pictures. We had didn't, didn't need to you sign any waiver. I gave permission. <laughs> I gave permission to use, but it was the back of their heads. Uh, so, but yes, we did have kids showing them doing activities at our craft table. We had a huge craft table. I brought my own second table for the uh, event, and we, uh, we gave out a lot of stuff for people to take home, flyers, and also, I don't think I had any flyers left for you at the end, or I would have given them back yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and we also had a lot of the kids doing activities. And some of the older kids from Catherine's Taekwondo, they all came over and started helping me, and they, we all started doing the activities together. So it was nice. pretty cool. But yeah. Very nice. Sure. Very mm -hmm. nice. Um, That's it. Any other business? Well done. No. Good to see all this public relations happening. Um, if there's no other business, do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Sure. Do we have a second? All in favor. This meeting is a good 8.03. Good job. Under an hour. Look at you.